away from the fourth game of the National League playoffs between the Padres and Cubs. The parking lot, I repeat, is full. San Diego, good day. If Padres were to go on to sweep the Cubs, the shock in Chicago would be so great. <laughs> it would really, it would just make me grin to see it to see it happen. I honestly wanted it to happen in Kansas City. Uh, I wanted them to come back and beat Detroit just to shut those people up. Uh, yeah. But it yeah. didn't happen. Really not that good. Again for a sports update. No team has ever come back from a two-game deficit to win the National League Championship Series, but San Diego is now just one victory shy of doing just that. The Padres even the best of five series at two games each. They beat the Cubs last night 7-5. to five. Steve Garvey, the big batty, drove in five runs for the Padres, two with a game-winning home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. Greg Leffers, the fifth San Diego pitcher, got the win. Lee Smith, who gave up Garvey's home run, took the loss for Chicago. This is the first time any National League team trailed 2-0 in a series and rebounded to force a fifth and deciding game. In the series, each team has now won twice in their own ballpark. Game 5 is on tap this afternoon in San Diego. The action gets underway at 1.10 this afternoon right here on KNX News Radio. Incidentally, Steve Garvey's five RBIs in last night's game helped him set one playoff record and extend another. Garvey now has 20 playoff RBIs. Greg Nettles and Reggie Jackson had held the old mark of 18. The home run was Garvey's eighth in league championship series play. No one else has hit that many. Feeling tired at all. In fact, at 6 o'clock in the morning, I started twitching, and I decided to go in the other room, and I watched uh, Garvey's home run again on tape since I taped it, and now I'm pumped up, ready to go one more time. We got all winter to rest, and everybody here knows that, and it don't matter if you're hurt. It doesn't matter how tired you are. You come out here, and it feels like it's the first day uh, you feel great. The people here, uh, you got to give them all the credit. You've seen what happened in Chicago. You've seen what's happened here. Uh, 
if there's any way for a statistic, uh, these people definitely should get the win the last couple of days. Tim, it's hard to be noticed in the shadow of Steve Garvey, but last night, just like all year, what happens? The two super subs. Bobby Brown comes up, gets a hit, moves to second on a stolen base. He's driven in by Garvey. Tim Flannery comes up, gets a hit, moved to second base, driven in by a hit by Steve Garvey. And you guys play just as big a part as uh, Steve, only he was in the limelight. Uh, Padre bench, balance team, a uh, full-scale team, and that's why you guys have bounced back. Well, thank you. All year, you know, Bobby and I and everybody on this team doesn't care who gets the credit I don't care if anybody even remembers that uh, we won the game that's all I know and uh, as long as I can live with myself knowing that I've done the best I possibly can and I'm ready when called upon there's an, that's all the really all the limelight and all the anything I need uh, just as long as we win I don't care who does it if it's me if it's Steve Garvey if it's uh, Gary Templeton it doesn't matter. Our number one goal is to win, and that's all we care about, and I think that's the reason we have come this far. Tim, it occurred to me last night that even in the excitement, uh, you guys realized you had only reached the hump. Now you got to get over it, and the hump is Rick Sutcliffe, the probable Cy Young Award-winning pitcher for Chicago. He beat you three times out of three this year. But, uh, you know, you guys know what it's like. We, we never get into the batter's box. What's going on when Sutcliffe is on the mound? He's a good pitcher, and they score runs behind him, and they make plays behind him. But, uh, again, now, we're talking about momentum. And we're talking about uh, things that you can't really put your finger on. Now, we're talking about emotion. And uh, I don't care what anybody says. I believe this game is 90% mental, or I wouldn't be here, I don't think. There's, there's something that you can't. You know, you look at guys like Pete Rose. You look at people that scout reports say a guy can't hit, he can't field, he can't throw, he can't run, he won't play in the big leagues. And now look at Pete Rose. He's one of the best hitters of all time. Uh, emotion plays a great part of this game. This team here believes that they're the best team in the whole world right now. We've got momentum, and I don't care who's out there on the mound today. He's going to be tough. But we're ready to go, and uh, if we can't beat them today, then they deserve to win it because uh, we got everything in our favor. Today, here we come, Showdown City. Yeah. Eric Schau, who's All right, yeah. in this season against Rick Sutcliffe, who won 20 games, probably is going to win the Cy Young Award. The Padres win this one today. Even the most diehard skeptic is going to turn into a believer. <laughs> From the field. Jack McKeon, everybody. Yeah. Vice President, Baseball yeah. Operations, General Manager, Cigar Concessionaire, he's here. You know, Jack, you don't have an agent, do you? No, I don't, but I, I like to say, once again, I said it yesterday, but, you know, we're extremely proud of our ball players. but you people out here have made it. You, you haven't let us down the last two games, and like I said to you yesterday, we want you to be louder, make as much noise as you possibly can, and we're going to have the World Series here on Tuesday. Steve Voss and the KFMB singers take us up to Ted, and we will see you here periodically throughout the Pottery Talk Show with Ted. So yeah. hang around. We'll come back down for more fan reaction. We got a party. Even have some folks ask Ted some questions yeah. during the talk show coming up next year. KFMB, we're going to win game five today. Yeah. We're talking about number one. We're talking about a team who's not having fun. We're led to pennant race from wire to wire. Now let's set the town on fire.